yourselves in the presence of God. Okay, serious tayo, ha? Okay. Heavenly Father, you promise us that where there are two or three gathered in your name, there you are with us. Matthew 18, verse 20. Today, here we stand as we acknowledge that you are the Almighty and Sovereign God who is worthy of our worship, praise, and adoration. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you for opening the hearts of each one present, especially those who flew from the East, the West, just to make this reunion come into a reality. Nothing is by chance, Lord, but it is according to your will at your appointed time. May our time together be filled with joy and laughter as we reminisce the past and share the present wherever life's journey has taken us. May we continue to live by faith and not by sight, remembering you are a faithful God, blessing us abundantly with all good things. May we ask for your continued blessings of good health, protection, joy, peace, love, and commitment as we ask you to bless the food we are about to take. All this we lift up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. tonight is very special and memorable. Not that you need to, because you know that is through their intention anyway. All of us, we want to make this night very special and memorable. And uh, we are all here gathered as one happy family. 40 years have passed, and uh, it seems like uh, yesterday that we left the portals of our dear alma mater. And then, so uh, we have a lot of reasons to celebrate tonight. There'll be a lot of uh, eating, drinking, dancing, singing, and a whole lot of reminiscing. All right, for Megan tonight, near or far, guests who uh, joins us in this wonderful location, let's give ourselves a round of applause. Come on, make noise! Yeah. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad to see all of you here. For years, we have been separated, distant, in many ways, time, place, age, and perhaps your professional growth 
and experiences. August 2017, our grand alumni homecoming has come at last. The realization of our 40 year reunion celebration, this is a fulfillment of what was once a mere paper plan. Now, as we all take part in this festive affair, let us take pleasure, the spirit of oneness, and a feeling of good friendship. Serious one, you know? Yeah. Smile sad. It was a tough job trying to locate all our classmates. I think those who help out can testify to that. It was indeed a great pity if somebody missed this wonderful occasion just because the news did not get to her. I am afraid that we might have missed out quite a number of our classmates since we were 88 in the class 77. As you can see, there is 88 graduates. You can use your eyeglasses or telescope. <laughs> In case you did not remember, we were 88. I don't know the percentage of that in the board exam results. <laughs> I hope after we got contacts or classmates here tonight for future correspondence and future gatherings, I can say that all of us who are here show that even in times of martial law in Mindanao, even of the distance and slim chance of getting approval from our leave vacation leave from our work, and vacation leave from our family. Our friendship comes before everything. A friend of mine gave me some years ago with a little children's poem on it that goes, there are big ships, there are small ships, but there is no ship like friendship. Welcome to our world, Broken Church Class 77, 48 Grand Reunion. Well, yeah, we do. Serious, no, guy, I'm serious. What you're telling us. Okay. Be sure you listen well because, as I have said yesterday, you have your. Master schedule, and yet you keep asking. <laughs> so maybe after this, I will give a uh, little exam as a part of your game of what you have. If you really have listened. Now we have with us tonight our dear, very special guests. They are our teachers. You might not remember what lectures they taught us. <laughs> or even they have not remembered what they have taught us. Mom, nakadumdum pa ka sa aming lecture. I, I remember the one teacher teaching nutrition and the other one is teaching pharmacology. I remember, ma'am, I have cried because I don't have the medicine literatures. <laughs> because you required us to have an album, and I'm not from Davao, I am from Botuan. So to whom will I ask for this literatures? Siguro, if only there were already the, the popular drug addiction, maybe I could give it. <laughs> and nutrition, I remember our teacher requires us to really compute, you know, compute the body weight, the, 
the kind of diet there, which all these day, low social, right, everything. And I'm, mom, I'm sorry, I cannot really, I'm not going in computation. <laughs> but I, I remember one incident when we have uh, prepared and we had, uh, we were doing marketing and we went to Bankerohan. Uh, I was with my group and then the, the other, I'm the one holding the list of uh, the, the items that you have to buy. And then they told me, what more meant that we're going to buy in Napo? Because I am from Butuan, our dialect is somehow a mix of Spanish and a little of Pauso. And actually, we have a very similar um, dialect with the Bao. Before I go there, I will give a little history that the Vau, Agusan, and Hulu are ruled by one family of three kings. That's why we have almost the same dialect. Anyway, going back to that marketing, uh, my, my companion said, What's about my kulang chu? Sabi ko, Agri Dulce. Agri Dulce in our in Putuan is calamansi. Uh, oh. Diba? Spanish na ano? Dulce is sweet, calamansi is sour. No, gali. Tam is for aslum. I said Agri Dulce. Ah, oh. in the market, wet market siya. Wala na tiri. Doon tayo sa, sa grocery, katabi ng wet market. I was thinking, Lahit ragin din tapo na nga siyudad, no? Kay ang agridose, to ano man sa grocery. <laughs> then we went through the battles, the Monte, Dol. We were looking agridose. Then we can't find any agridose. Then they asked again, what does it look like? Kamay na siyang green. Yes. And then sila, Ang saan ang brand? Del Monte? Dole? Ang sigaw. Ay ko, pasi pasta na kong siyudad na anay brand. So I said, sa amo, what na yung ngalan? Siya, pasta agridose. Siya nga, who does it look to? Nasa can o battle? Lahit na ginig na kong siyudad, no? Kaya ipotilya na, ilata pa. Ako nga, basta green. Where do you usually buy that in your place? Sa market ka lang, butang sa ligo. Kumalak lang ta dito sa wet market. So when we went there, we went back. Nagiligo nga, kalamsi. Kaya nga siya ko, kana po, muna sa tiyo kanina, ragit na nagpagitaan na, nga naman na imong siwuti, ang agridulsi ko. Kung manamaho, ikaw ko no, Kung natao ka sa iyong lugar, won't you not talk like people that you're with, di ba? Mga na, ma'am, disood ka yung pangita na mong agritos. <laughs> well, anyway, um, nawa na hinuang ko. <laughs> but I think these are not the things we remember. We remember the people we met, the interesting things we did, and the things we did together. Is it that? A round of applause to our dear teachers, Duara Gidnesila Survivors. Their teachers are always looking at the ladies, ladies first. Oh, ladies first. Oh, yeah. To here, we also, we give them a round of applause. We have Mrs. Nomi Nolasco, our teacher in nutrition. Now we look like Queen Elizabeth. And we have Mrs. Celia 
prior people. Our pharmacology teacher, please uh, give us the. We would like to see you stand up. Ma'am, if we still recognize you. We have, of course, the. Like BFF, no? No other than our dear teacher, clinical instructor, and I'm sure a lot of you were angry at him. Yes. But you know, after all, we learn a lot from them. Yes. Okay. Being a strict teacher, they are the very good teacher. And I could say, because I was there, when I was in school and in the academy, I was very strict. So I can feel what our dear teacher felt that way. So let me have Mr. Roberto Amo. We have 20 from who are, who are left behind. Pinas, 20 of us. Pinas. Murak sa Pinas, dagan guapa, no? Ah, ingon si Bisminda. Ang up group ko no, daghan yang looking. Murag, tupad ko no, tapos. Well, anyway, it's nice to see you all. And we're happy that you're here. And I'm sure you're also happy to see us. Is it not? Okay. So, the not the least of it in our introduction are our very own handsome Hunt, husbands of our classmates. May I call your name and please stand up so that we can recognize you because for, for the two days now we keep on only smiling at you. Okay. But we don't know well of your name. I only can remember June because we met earlier than the others. May I introduce and you listen. Leonardo Espanola Jr., the husband of Grace. June, dito po, June. Oh, okay. I see the admin. We have also Florencio Farales, the husband of Gladys. Ricardo S. Pena, the husband of Bing Fabian. We had breakfast together this morning. Alang alang breakfast morning, good no. I was seated across seat and pick up his money. What's that? Yung alang alang. Yung panisali. Ano? Ano mo? Nahiya ako kasi palagi lang ako sabi, Kwan! Kwan! <laughs> Hindi ka man alam pangalan nun. Ano pangalan na Joe? Ay, lalo na ako. <laughs> then we have John Militar. Then after that, he works at Chinese College of Nursing. At the same time, 
teaching at the uh, Review Center for Nursing and Midwifery. From 1994, he went to the state. And I think right now he's retired. Uh, I know every one of us have some mixed feelings about him. I, for one, I could not forget the time that he told me, you are into a wrong profession. <laughs> you should not be in nursing. So I said, what do you think I should go to? He said, modeling. <laughs> and I hope he remembered that. And there are also some classmates of ours that even cried. There was one classmate of ours during the morning circle have been out because of the stockings if not properly pulled. The apron have lots of tape. <laughs> Can you still remember those times? That we're too lazy to sew our apron, so we put lots of tape on our apron. And there was also a time that me, I hope everyone remember the Allegre. We were doing the, uh, how do you call that, flag retreat? No, no, no. We're lowering the flag. So me and Dee were lowering the flag. And then there's our classmate there in front of us making faces at us. Like, so me and Dee will... And he told us, step aside. You're not going to do your duty. You're going home. And Dee said, Sir, sir, please, we don't want to go home. I said, no, Dee, we're going home. I said, we're going home. Come on, let's go home. I said, we're off. But Dee does not want to. And I said, no. He said, we're not going to our duty, so we're going home. He was so strict. But look, look at us now. We're good nurses, guys. And uh, before I will tell you a long story, please welcome Mr. Robert Bobby Amon. Thank you, Bing, uh, for that very nice introduction. Uh, before I proceed, mayong gabi ka na kong tanan. And I would like to recognize our guest, uh, our pharmacology instructor, Mrs. Carpio, Celia. Right now? Did I get it right now? So I will win the trivia. Uh, Mrs. Noemi Nalasco, our current dean of the College of Nursing, Dr. Ruby Mejias Oy. Did I get it right? So, I'm not yet on my senior moment, right? And if you ask me of the, the days that we're together, perhaps I will answer you 101%. I was listening to Dean uh, Mencho, uh, Butao, and there were a lot of things that I would like to pick up, but I was saying, oh, talagang itong Bapat 77, they're different, because as I say different, for the reason that I have six different batches with Professor, and you were my first student after I get out of the, my nursing, uh, nursing, after I graduated from nursing at Dallas College. So, kayo talaga yung unang-una na na naka, ano, naka, na impart ko yung aking little uh, knowledge of what is, I learned five years in nursing. Because we were in the five years program. And 
I really did not intend to work as an instructor or as a teacher because uh, when I graduated from high school, I, my, my mom said, you better be a teacher because I'm a teacher. I'm sorry, but don't lose the lesson plans. Uh -uh. Said. But I ended up to be a teacher. Why? Because my former instructor from Veles College, I was visiting some special student from the college of nursing that time. She was uh, a good friend of mine. So I was visiting and then Mrs. if you still remember Mrs. Agnes Ibanez. Uh, she works at General Ward and she said, Doom, kids are giving you time for this broken chair. I said, Ma'am, I'm a friend of mine. Pero usan yung bisita ng amiga, dali dali ato tali Mrs. Reyes. Ano man ma'am? Kinahanglan kit ng instructor. Kung ma'am, what have experience ma'am? I don't want to be, to, you know. But then, no, 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 you are my former student. I know you can make it. But to cut the story short, I went to the, the office of Mrs. Reyes. And Mrs. Reyes said, you start tomorrow. And then I said, ma'am, so I if you remember my, my long hair, yeah. and then if you remember me, I was on my clad shoes, red yeah. bottom, yeah, 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 yeah. and I just, hey, mom, I uniform, mom, but I, I will be working in Manila because we were the pioneering staff of United Doctors. Dili, dili na lang ka. You just wear something laser ba, like so you start tomorrow. Kini lagi yung bago tang graduate ko sa life, mara may makatawa kita ko ta, na, is this something that for me or I don't know, but then there was a mixed feeling. So mo to nga nayala ko yes ma'am. Nayala there was yes ma'am. So the next day I reported to Jen Ward. Jen Ward and then I met um uh, Mrs. Jimenez. What's the name of Mrs. Jimenez? Helen, Helen good. So you, you you have a prize. A prize committee. One. So then, uh, then Helen oriented me, and then my first students were the Band 77. So, Mati Gihatan, Mrs. Ibanez. Mrs. Ibanez was your clinical instructor. I was training with her. So, Mato. So, I started, and then, I went to Osaka Estudiante, I overheard one summer. Did you know, smile, no? Instructor. I said, wala lang ko. I said, I because, I was a mixed feeling, you know. You know, uh, it was my first time. So, I was going to ask Mrs. Sibanyas, tomorrow you'll be by yourself. Ma'am, I said, ma'am, bago pa ba ako? But anyway, to cut the story short, I have to do the job that was assigned to me. And I don't want us, I don't want to, you know, just to play around and then you pay me your tuition on that, but then maybe at one point I need to uh, be that strict. There was only one one uh, thing in my mind. My, all my instructors when I was in college were that strict, and I was one of them that had a really uh, an experience, and I thank them now because when I graduate, I thought I would never make it. Pero, Alois, you know, I made it for five years. Kunya, mag, our training before is not like now. You, you have classroom and then you have clinical. Ang atua ka to is clinical to classroom, na classroom to clinical, and mura na tao, mga namiyaw, and we are so thin, ana, so mga sexy ka ita. Karon, sexy ka ita. Sexy. Sexy ka. Okay, so uh, there were some main experiences I know you have. Like, okay, okay, I will tell. You. Okay, in the invitation that was given to me by a uh, mentor, said, uh, "Sonia, I will be your speaker because I will be enthusiastic to share about the class because you are our instructor." You were a friend, and now we are colleagues. Ang ipili ko na ko nito 
is the second one, friend. Kaya nga ano, but even when you were my students, you were already my friend. Now that we are colleagues, still we are friends. So, ang tanong ko sa team, unsa may team ini ni yung reunion? When I was invited a year ago, I go yes, I will attend. Pag kita kita namo during this preparation, we're in. Siguro mga let's say I I attended the preparation 80 percent, and I can see how they work to put all things together, and this is the result. And I would congratulate the working committee for a well job done. And not to forget, not to forget, their husbands were very supportive in making this affair. So please rise, the husbands of this committee, who made this very successful affair. I will attest to that because I have. I've been to the meetings and do na ilam ay ito atut taso and I want also thank Heidi and Heidi and Asman and also Susan and Asman to have all those patients in picking me up, bringing me to where they have the meeting, and as I said, I'm a witness to how this event. A very successful one. There are so many things I would like to say, but the only thing I would like to more to say is that I am no, I am very strict. But at this point in time, my heart is so much overflowing with joy, seeing all these students. Who say, "Bantay kita sir, manres na niko, bantay juga." But the thing is, as an among room, they were all smiles and all that. So, and then from the very start, especially I left before you graduated, but I saw you guys during your board exams, and I still can remember I visited somebody at Picampa, and on and Opa was at uh, Balik Balik, and there were all other, other dormitory along uh, USD. So, and then we were we had a very good. Uh, Conversation on that about your preparation and all that. I was working in Makati Medical Center, but after my night duty, I go and try to see some of you guys. And now, after 40, 40 years, look, I see all the smiles. And now, I am not your instructor, but you will be my instructor. The reason that I say that is you need to give me all this information about your expertise. Because uh, I need that. I am not going out of learning. Because I don't want to, you know, my, I am with an Alzheimer's unit, I don't want to go there. So if I say, that is what your expertise, so you tell me. And one of the graduates that I really would like to mention, very special, kahit siya na may gustang gini ka ron, wala pa sa irin. And with, uh, yeah, this is, you know, that is what she has now, very happy. And so with Raquel. Uh, because of Oscar Ong. I know Oscar. So, I see him. He sees me. So, mo na. So at one point in time, some instructor was asking Mr. Amon, Ma'am, what do you see Mr. Pong? What do you need to leave me to go to the nursing? I said, Well, you know what? We really don't need to judge somebody. But let's see what will happen. Because let's give him a chance or something like that. Because I know he will be doing something. So when he was in the past, I want to be panahuna, no? And ah, para si Oka Karol, kasi what was that? Nurse, honest nurse. Okay, so I went to Florida and I met instructors, former instructors. I met ah, ah, Samara formerly, but now Milan, then some other. So how's Mr. Oh? 
Oh, would you believe me? Ansan naman kayo? Uy, yaw lang kayo siya. Nakuha. Ansan naman siya? Nurse, anesthetist naman siya. Huh? Oh. Oh, nagigagisotin lang ako sa inyo. We never... Oh, to ngayon si Bingbing alin na. Oh, tinuod mag mo. Ay, what? Si Bingbing ka na ito. Mahiling mo na sa mag... Pinaso ba? It's like really a model. Daga kayo mga kapatid. When you were in training, Pagdalagan niyo mong kalang trace and injection, marag yung mga model ba? And I would say, you could be a model instead of being a nurse. But, look, who are you now in the field of nursing? That is the thing that I'm very proud of. So, to end ma, this uh, sharing, I would say thank you for listening 40 years ago. <laughs> At the clinical area, wherein I would ask you, where's your nursing care plan? What is the, you know, this, what is that? Then you were now relating what you learned from Miss Carpio about, you know, about the drugs. You are relating to me nursing care plan, but Mrs. Molasco was teaching you about nutrition, all blah, blah, things. I hope today is not the end of our meeting, but let's make it this way. 40 years of share, and I hope after 40 years, we still continue to share and to connect, especially now that we have the Facebook. Thank you, and again, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much,
Come on, carpenters, fast jet.
name is pronounced as Rosalie. <laughs> back to the year 1974, when around 100 students started the nursing course in Guam. Students were interned in dormitory rooms in the second floor and basement of the main building. And we have to strive hard in our studies, knowing that after the first semester, only those who have passed the curriculum for being able to move to the second semester. That right the passes was called pinning and capping. I was intern in room one along with Menchu, Amor, Goto, Gloria, Glofe, Ellen, Michi, Banki, who else did I miss in room one? Okay. And one night during that first semester, when everyone was on pins and needles and anxious about the chances of making it to the next semester, we played the spirit of the gloves <laughs> with the intention of asking the spirit who will enter the glass to reveal the names of those who will make it to the beating and chapel. <laughs> yes, we were that desperate that we had to rely on a spirit to decide our fate. I couldn't even recall if the spirit gave us the correct names. 
What I recall is that the game scared the hell out of me, vowing never to play that game again. Thankfully, spirit or no spirit, we made it to the pinning and capping ceremony. Our second year in nursing school consisted mostly of academic exams, nursing duties, morning rounds, completion of requirements. I recall one of our instructors who would use the school auditorium for the final exams. She would use the stage as her observation point, keeping a hot eye on everyone. And there was one of our classmates who seemed unruffled by the circumstances and always took things easy. He would go back and forth to the stage to where our instructor was seated. He was always easy going, as you would think that he did not take his studies seriously. Fast forward to 40 years. Today, that easygoing, playful student is a successful nurse anesthetist and an undeniably one of the most accomplished graduates in our batch. He is no other than Oka, or Oscar Oka Ong. Oka, in the past, has in the past, spearheaded several medical missions involving heart surgery, neurosurgery, lead, lead and palate surgery, ophthalmology, plastic surgery, podiatry, general surgery. After successfully completing our sophomore, we prepared to move on to the next level in our preparation to become full-fledged nurses. Our junior and senior years were filled with activities in pra the practical setting. Our schedules became more flexible and this was when we were allowed to leave the confines of our classrooms. We were assigned as rural health nurses with assignments in the Panado Rural Center or Vigas Rural Center. We likewise rendered duties at the Davao Mental Hospital for our psychiatry experiences. Finally, we completed the required experience in the hospital specialty, specialty departments like OR, waiting room, pediatrics, and ecology and other related specialty, specialty departments. Our graduation in 1977 was a milestone in our lives as we finally graduated and left the portals of our alma mater to face the real world, world in the pursuit of our chosen career. By then, we developed a bond among one another, with our instructors and mentors, and to all those who in one way or another honed our skills and prepared us to be what we are today. I would like also to thank the presence of Mrs. Nolasco, our nutrition teacher, Mrs. Carvio, our teacher in pharmacology, and of course, our current Dean of Nursing, College of Nursing, Dr. Ruby Hui. Over the years, over the, over the years, our destiny has led us to our chosen path. For those of us who chose to live abroad, it is either the West Coast or the East Coast, or other part of the world. Personally, I am based in Southern California with my husband of 38 years, who was my boyfriend when I was still a student at Brogan Char. Only our youngest child, Bea, also a registered nurse, lives in California, where her she works at Kaiser Permanent. Our three other children have chosen to pursue their careers outside the U.S. And yes, I am a great grandmother to two other adorable apos. In the past, the U.S.-based classmates have, been, have held several mini reunions in New York, Florida, Vegas, and of course, in the Philippines. Today, as we look, as we look back to 40 years of friendships, 
Let us give thanks to all the accomplishments, achievements, and blessings that we have received. And on behalf of the Dutch 77, I would like also to extend my congratulations and gratitude to all the to the organizing committee for this year's year reunion for their tireless efforts in scheduling our activities finding the venues, booking lodging facilities, and organizing the fellowship activities that would make this affair truly memorable. <coughs> Meantime, let us enjoy the fellowship for the remainder of our reunion as we look forward to more re re reunions to come. Thank you and good evening. <laughs> Susan tasked me to do the field uh, remarks. Murang ko ato and then nag-ino ko, yes, okay. But when I go home, nagduha-duha man ko, uy, ino ko, uy, kahagilom pa ani, uy, mga islam na ba to ako mga classmate? Kahagilom ka dito yung ko. Hindi na ka umukatay, uy, bahala na lang ni sila. Pero ino ko, sige lang. Anyway, Ah, wala may mali, no? So, kung sa akong isulti, wala yung mali. So, nakuyawan na sila ba ang breaking group? Kung sa akong iimon ka. Wala ko yung kopya ba? And, Sally, thank you. Thank you for uh, kung ano nang mutanan. Uh, <laughs> thank you pa, Ayo. <laughs> Gamay na lang akong idugan. Ah, so, uh, Uy, hadlo ka ayaw din iba. <laughs> Ato ganing i-abri ang kwan ka ng table kay Ramso, dalang utak dito. Dili madala, itagaan ko ni Oka o one button. Ano? Kusog ka ayaw mo ang heartbeat. Maski <laughs> o, uh, I am uh, nurse supervisor sa hospital na mo. Ba? 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 Hindi ko masing in-English dito. Uy, alam nga, mga sabah, mag in-English. So, si Ma'am Dubi, kaupan niya na, usahin na sige yung meeting. No? So, um, mga lecture-lecture lang ko dito sa kilid-kilid. No? Mga mga iba. O, <laughs> uh, yeah. At mga sabah, hindi mo na pagtarong ba yan? Pagtarong ba yan? Pagtarong ba yan? Basi ang mic, ikong mahulog. Basi, <laughs> basi akong sapatos malagpot. <laughs>
Oo, labi na kay 60 na ba yata? Inahanlad ang tik, no? Ang tik ba? Manghirig na yun.
This is a watercolor painting. I would like to present our dear teacher. Uh, she's uh, he's fan of flowers, so we give him a flower that we always remember. Thank you, sir. encounter with you was at New Jersey when I was also your guest. If those who were in New Jersey remember? Yeah. And at that time, I still can remember when Noreen Damo told me we were dancing the Todo Todo and I was brought with Noreen in front of the group to do the entire demonstration. So I was really sweating it out to dance the Todo Todo now. During the dancing period, uh, we will have Jerry to really let us dance to the Todo. Again, this clap of appreciation is something that I will never forget. And I really think that's 1977. Your, your success is my success. Thank you so much. I love you all. Wow! The mother of Miss USA Ambassador to Philippines. And the sector of course. Oh. And can we see the Miss You wave? Can we see the Miss Universe wave? Oh. 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 He is an ambassador to the Philippines. Yeah! <laughs> Lovely couple. Heidi Osorio and Minda Ramos. For the program committee, Menchu Vicente, Lina Esperat, and Lina Alignon. Yeah. And for the food committee, Arlene Sinsua, Ruby Godoy, and Benji Santiago. We appreciate all of you for your hard work and a job well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, Mrs. Nolasco, Mrs. Carpio, Mr. Amon, and Dr. Uli, welcome and good evening. Good evening. I am here to present an award. This award of distinction is given to a person who is a living example of greatness and excellence. I can say that the recipient of this award is selfless. And aside from having a demanding job, uh, being a wonderful spouse and parent, volunteering has never been out of the question. Despite being very successful in career and life, the recipient of this award has always remained humble and down to earth while retaining a strong sense of civic duty which shows us that no matter how successful you are in life, it is always important to give back. Humility, generosity, integrity, and commitment, these are the values we see in someone deserving of this award of distinction. On behalf of 1977 graduation, graduates of Rockinger School of Nursing, I am proud to present this award to the founder of Operation Here Abroad, Oscar Boca Ong. 
particularly would like to read a text that we are giving as a plug of distinction for Oscar. He left earlier because he has a very important meeting with 180 doctors to discuss and help again for medical purposes and for community services. Let me read the text of the plan before I, I mean to read this. We really make it a plan, not an ordinary one, but with a picture of Oscar. <laughs> and so with Mr. Ram, our group really would like to make a distinction, a unique one, a plot, not an ordinary plot, but they have their face. Because sometimes if you give the common plot, they just put it in the corner of their cabinet. But this one, they want because they have the picture. Okay? Um, with the greatest appreciation and admiration, we hereby present Oscar S. Ong with a distinction award in recognition of his commitment and dedicated services operation care from Foundation, August 9, 2017, Amitori, Davao City, Philippines. A gift from our batch, Brockenshire Class 77.
her being the contact person of a group. When she left for the States, it was passed on to Joan. Yes! But when Joan left for the States too, I was left with no choice but grateful enough to have a very supportive group. Actually, this is not yet our last activity. We still have another day tomorrow, but then I believe that this is the best time for me to extend how grateful I am to each and everyone. <laughs> the Broken Sharika 77 would like to thank Mr. Ruben Poamon for accepting the invitation to be our guest speaker on our 40th anniversary. And we appreciate the presence of our teachers uh, and our professors and the Dean of Nursing to grace the occasion for they played a very important part in our lives. I thank first and foremost the working team belonging to the different committees the Ways and Means Committee, chaired by Ms. Glofe Escovilla Granado, and its members, Ms. Ami Jane Arsena and Ms. Ofelia Luces Agosajes. The Program Committee, chaired by Ms. Carmen Chubutao, Vicente and its members, Ms. Nina Laguno and Ms. Lina Sahagon. Ms. Lina Sahagon Esperat. The Food Committee, chaired by by Arlene with Timbang Sinswal and its members, Ms. Evangeline Suelio Santiago and Ms. Ruby Flor Salvador Godoy. And the Finance Committee chaired by Ms. Heidi Guerrero and Ms. Luz Viminda Cruz Ramos. My heartfelt gratitude to all of you. I am grateful to Heidi, Glofe and Ruby for accommodating us always into their private haven and even preparing food for all of us during our meetings, aside from the food each one of us were bringing. I do appreciate all others who always make a way to attend our meetings, even if they have to travel three to six hours, like Menchu, Ami, Ophelia, Lina, Arlene, and Nina. To Gladys and Bing Bing, who also exerted efforts to reconnect with all our other classmates. Thanks a lot for all the help. For, for your generosity in providing free accommodations for field group, for some field group members, many thanks, Sally Bingbing and the rest of the group. Thank you so much, Grace, Ellen, and many others, like Nelly and Dolly, who have given their shares of donations. To our greatest benefactor, who doesn't want to be mentioned, Though everyone knows who you are, be blessed even more. To our family, most especially our spouses, who patiently wait for us during our meetings just to make sure that we would be home safely. Thank you so much. Last but not the least, I thank everyone who comes all the way from the United States, Europe, Canada, Middle East, and other places here in the Philippines for all your generosity and for entrusting us to plan and prepare these three-day activities. Your presence is highly appreciated. I am so grateful for all your support, even how big or small it is. Each one of us played a great part to make this reunion possible. It won't be what it will be without each and every one of us. Daghan kayong salamat sa tanan. And then I would like to end this, uh, I would like to end this with this phrase. What would life be without a loving friend? What would the world be without you? God bless us all. Cheers to 40 years and still counting! Yes, Thank you, Mr. John. Dear Heavenly Father, 
We are all gathered before thee, classmates, friends, roommates, gangmates, and family. Joyful and ever so grateful, but humbled in your presence. After 40 long years, we are now here together, leading our own lives for these past 40 years, practicing our profession in caring and helping others. We are together now and united in our quest to rekindle our friendship and camaraderie. Lord, please bless us and our families and lead us to the right path with whatever choice, life choices we have in our golden years. We thank our over-energetic Philippine team, our clinical instructors for their strict discipline. Thank you for we won't be like this if you weren't that strict, Mr. Al. <laughs> um, classmates, this was a very, very memorable reunion and experience for all of us. It was worth all the travel for everyone. And last but not the least, we have not forgotten our dearly departed classmates, Dennis Rosette and Raquel Santos. Please bless the eternal repose of their souls. We surely miss them. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, for this opportunity of kinship and reunion. In Jesus' name, amen. All right.
ये वेरी गुड सॉन्ग थी
our services. I tried to walk when no one was gone to get what remained. I knew something had sometimes. You looked at me and I would see that my life now that my days have been in country life. All in New York in every way.
Yeah. <laughs>